1,000 for back, 1,000 for back. The reason for this, my voice is just when I felt like I had arrived, God sent me back to square one. Hi guys, happy new year. Welcome to 2023. You, you, you. We made it. I want to say a big thank you to you all for being part of this, my YouTube journey, for being part of my life. And first of all, I want to thank the Almighty God for making it possible for us to be alive. It's not by might, neither is it by power, but it's by His special grace and mercy and love He has for us. Yes, we made it to 2023. None of us is missing. We counted and none is missing. Hallelujah. So today I'm sharing with you all my 2023 goals and a few lessons I learned in 2022 so this year above all things i want to draw myself closer to god i want to really draw myself closer and closer to god i want to trust him in everything i want to surrender all my plans all my goals everything i want to do on this anything i want to do this 2023 i want it to be on christ the solid rock then one of the lessons i learned in 2022 was i leveled hard i worked a, a lot i tried to make it up to make it on my own and just when i felt like i had arrived God sends me back to square one. I won't say God sends me back to square one, literally, but I went back to square one and I felt that that was God trying to teach me a lesson. Definitely, He said in His word that except He builds a house, the builder builds in vain. I, I labored, I struggled, I worked so hard, and when I felt like I had accomplished my goals, Everything crashed right in front of me. Thieves broke into my shop, took away everything. And this 2023, it feels like I'm literally starting back at square one. But I wouldn't want to see it that way. I want to see the lesson in it. And this year, I just want to trust God and to consult Him on everything. I want His light to guide me this year. I want to surrender my plans to Him and to trust the process. I've learned that with him things will be more easier i'll be sending you the i'll be giving my goals randomly my second goal for the year is to take driving driving license yeah yeah if you've been on this channel you already know i have five kids yes so moving around with my girls is not easy and where we live is really far from the main road where you walk to take a taxi so i will want to encourage myself and push myself to learn to take up driving lessons it's a necessity at this point my husband has a car he has using a car for almost 10 years now but i can't even start it <laughs> that's how scared i've been of driving i don't know i'm just i'm not just courageous enough to do that so this year i'm taking it up as a challenge i'm going to take up my driving lessons and all to the glory of god a girl is going <laughs> to do this hopefully by the end of this year i should be able to walk around in a car not that i'm putting pressure or i'm expecting to have a car this year i just want to learn maybe once in a while i can <laughs> I can step out with my husband's car, especially when I'm going to, running some errands with, or going out with the kids. It's for me, it's really a necessity and it's going to help a lot. Another goal I have for this 2023 is to restart Mommy T, both my YouTube channel and my shop. Yes, guys, Mommy T is not just a YouTube brand, Mommy T is a shop. Yeah, I have a shop. 
and their name is Mommy T Beauty and Fashion is located in Boya Cameroon. If you are new year please hit on that subscription button if you are there if it's your first time stopping bye so i want to reopen my business yes thieves broke into the shop this december december 2022 and they took away practically everything that was there i'm going to attach a video to show you how i met the shop but on Christ the solid rock in vision 2023 I'm going to restart that shop and God is going to take it to the next level like I said I, I, I just see it as God closing a window to open a door for me and maybe I have not been building on a solid rock maybe my foundation was not strong enough and God just let those things that thing happen just to teach me that lesson so I'm start restarting mommy tea beauty and fashion and I'm paying more attention to to my youtube channel I would like to grow it to monetization yes we are not yet monetized please if you are watching this video hit on that subscription button it won't cost you a thing it's you helping my channel grow and i really appreciate if you do that for me another goal for this year would be for me to pay a little bit more attention on friendships yeah I, i'm a person that grew up let me see how could i put it? i grew up in hardship i grew up not having people i mean family that was capable enough to maybe fund me through education and everything so at a certain point i feel like i need to fight on my own and that alone drifted me away from friends i didn't pay attention to building friendship with people i paid more attention to working hard to provide for myself the things i want and you know with friendship if you don't have time to like sit and gist with somebody pay them a visit it's difficult for that friendship to really flourish so this year pay more attention to my friends and um, maybe build some strong bond and relationship with them practically i just want to be a little bit relaxed this year i don't want to put so much pressure on myself the past years i've put so much pressure on myself trying to achieve a lot of goals yeah my password years ago was success by 2022 so i worked so hard to make sure I get there and anything that could stand as a distraction I just blocked them and friendship was one of those things I paid little attention to I just felt like I didn't have the strength for it I just wanted to focus on doing things which I think were more necessary to me but man cannot leave as an island yeah we did friends in our life so this year i want to give friendship a thought i want to give friendship some attention and to build some friendship bonds with some friends that are already around me friends that have stick with me despite of the my shortcomings i have a few friends that have been there even though i don't pay them much attention as they do to me sometimes which is something i feel guilty of a lot sometimes but that was me focusing on me focusing on my future and everything and my next goal for this year is to grow outstanding check my out check it out guys it's always in progress i'm just from applying a lower job i'm putting this video second of january 2023 it's early in the morning so when i get up i have a morning routine to follow so there's a lovely red gel on my face and that's why you see the face is popping and it's going to pop more and practically this is going to be i hope this is your like the last time you are going to see me looking on kept i really want to pay attention to myself this year my health my physical appearance and everything last year was a tough year for me especially considering i was pregnant you know how pregnancy makes you to look like it has its way no matter how hard you fight it 
it's difficult for it to be to it's difficult to really look beautiful as a beautiful beautiful day when pregnancy so that's one thing i want to work on this year i'm married to a young handsome bayangi man so i need to take care of myself always and always so that's one goal for me this year another goal is to pay more attention to my girls i feel like a girl child raising a girl child needs to be attentive and i have five of them to look after so in spite of everything um, i want to focus on their growth both mentally spiritually education wise i want to pay more attention to them for the past years i will say their father my husband pays more attention to the kids I don't know how it turns out that way, but um, he's really that kind of an attentive person. He's so focused on his kids. So this year, I pray for grace. I really want to invest a lot of time, a lot of energy into raising my girls. They are my blessings, my biggest blessings. <clears throat> Believe me, guys. <laughs> December, I sold bags in the market and I was shouting my lungs out 11,000 for bag, 11,000 for bag. The reason for this, my voice is was kids' back, so it affected my voice a bit. It's not easy to shout 11,000 buy a bag they were practically the whole day, so that affected my voice a bit. And that's because when thieves break into the shop, took away practically everything. I didn't want to sit home and stop. I just needed to get myself something else that could generate me money. So I have another branch of my business, Mommy T, that is at the market, is located inside the market. So I had to go and say there we put bags in the wheelbarrow and we're shouting, Wow, 1000 for a bag! And we sold a lot of money, as in lots of money. And that was it. That's the reason why a girl doesn't have a clear voice, but it's going to come back on its own in a few days. So another goal I have for 2023 is to save more. Yeah, I'm, I started that saving plan already. I just want to save consistently a certain amount. You guys are going to find out that amount by the end of 2023. Today is the second and I dropped that, sec that second figure already i just want to um my the nature of my business if you are not saving you realize that you are working and i'll be reinvesting all the money back into the business which is not a good thing so this year i've placed myself on a constant amount of receiving per day for for 12 months so by this time next year we are probably going to we seeing how much that's going to fetch me for now i'm not disclosing that amount but there's this fixed amount god be my helper i want to be saving every blessed day till 2023 comes to an end and another goal is i've naturally been a supportive wife so i want to support my husband more i'll not say my husband i'll say support our family 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 agendas family goals like jointly work with my husband for us to achieve our goals for this year our family goals things that will take the family to the next level so that's that for this video guys like i said if it's your first time on this channel please hit on that subscription button to become part of the family see you in our next video and again i wish you a happy new year and a prosperous year to us this year is going to be one of the greatest years of our lives i feel it in my bones i feel it in my spirit and i hold on to christ and with him it's going to be possible it's going to be a great year i want to seek him in everything this year and 
reap the fruits of his kindness so guys i love you see you in my next video